hello guys welcome to the channel crypto global 100 and this is an update video on the price price prediction of the BitTorrent. you see here BitTorrent. this is the price prediction of BitTorrent. so you see uh, two days ago i posted a video you guys know that let me play the video for the two days ago uh yeah this one's the video where i predicted that where i predicted this one okay you see how i draw the sport zone here you can see the supply zone here you see i told you that this level might be retested or this level can be tested we need volume to break this level so you see this was the video on the 15th of april and what's today just look at the difference this one that was also daily candle and this one is also on daily chart you can see here it was this candle this candle this one let me draw the uh, tool there was another tool called let me check it let me check the text was uh, sorry for that i think i need to find this way so this was a tool this was the kernel where I predicted the uh, predicted the price prediction last time. So you see what happened afterwards. What happened afterwards is that you see that the the price consolidated in this region with a very low volume. You see down here the volume was very low, and in the next candle the volume was uh, a bit high but not that much. Next volume next candle volume was low the third one this one's you see how it go and it tried to break that level this was the second test of this level this area this region was tested second time it was tested first time there and you can see uh, uh, this was a resistance and this is the second time it tested now again this level is becoming weaker this one you see here it has been tested twice it has been tested many times this demand zone but the thing is you see there are long wicks here you see here at this level you see at this level you see good wick you see here a good supply absorption candles these are called a supply absorption candles see so you see here the these supplies are being absorbed there is a demand zone good demand zone at this level here so we need some more volume so that we can move up and also the main thing you see here the volume is not much it means when you see here here at this level let me draw something uh, where is the tool text tool I forgot to text so here you see red candle okay red candle with less volume means that down downward move is not supported see that's the thing that's the main thing you have to understand let me just pick this and move it a bit see here the red candle here you can see the red candle with less volume the volume was very less means that downward move is not supported here you see there was not a lot of volume here at this candle the volume was not that much so that's why this candle was rejected at this port level at this level see this level was rejected well due to the low volume so it means we need some more volume for the upward move okay so I'm gonna delete this for a moment and there's another very good indicator you can use to confirm the uh, the trend is in, in consolidation and we may see some uptrend soon as well uh, that is let me show you the fixed range 
and this needs to be applied when a certain region is broken here we broke a certain level you see this level and this level when we break a certain level then we can apply this indicator okay this is the volume profile we're gonna go for this now what's that let me show you guys this is a volume profile indicator let me delete it let me clear it you see here a lot of volume at this region see this region let me for the time being let me draw this level let me give you some example with the hundreds and this ones okay you see the volume after breaking this area you see this area after breaking this area you see the red line here this is the main volume area for example it you can say that this is a point of action or point of value uh, where the price reacts very good you see here at this level as they are pointing out if we look at the details you see here the price is has tested many times and come back after uh, getting touched here and if we move a bit uh, let me show you this this area is very less volume if we, I can zoom in a bit so that you can have a better idea just look at it here this area is faded and you see here if we look out here we, this area is, is grayed out and this area has a very less volume so means that when price goes to this area see this area it is not supported that much uh, with the volume so less volume at this area means the price is not breaking through this level got my point and if we move a bit at this port area you see this port area needs a lot of volume and at this port area very few very less volume here at this area as well this is the sport we have and in order to break this level we need a good volume so there are two confirmations if we look from the you see I'm talking about this great area you see this area very very less volume very less volume so what does it denote that this area this port region if you want to break this level it should go with a strong volume this volume has to increase okay this volume has to increase in order to break this level but for now if we look at this red see this red this red line which shows that the volume or price action is acting strong at this level okay 78 level so from here we can see might be a retest to this level or we can move up so where we gonna move up we have to check from another low profile area which is from here if we look at here the volume is very low at this region this is the lowest volume region if we do something here we draw a region here and another low volume region is where the price go but just rejects the very low area if we go to the four hour chart let's take a look at this these areas you see how this area let me tell you this low volume area this low volume area you see here that I'm talking about this area okay this low volume area you see how because here the people want to wants to you know they don't stay here it rejects the price is rejected after this you see here the price came back rejects two times it was rejected so price doesn't stay here but it's it can be a good uh, you see good area of rejection you can say so mean to say that low volume areas this is the low volume area first here this is the low volume area this is the second low volume area you see these low volume areas are the points of rejections here low volume area point of rejection low volume area point of rejection 
here low volume area point of rejection see here let me tell you another low volume area let me draw another uh, low level this one is also low let's draw another low level here another level here see here low volume the, you can see here point of rejection point of rejection so low volume means the people don't want to trade in these areas low areas these are very you know you can say less uh, money or low money not that much of uh, money is involved in this in these areas main thing the where the money is involved is at this level this one let me oh sorry man let me draw another level here you can see if we draw this to be yellow and make it uh, more more visible to it so we can have a look at it we can make it green now green is already there red okay this one area. you see if we look at this area this is the strong area here you, you see the price is like a magnet the price came and it moves away from this okay the price stayed here you see the price stayed here the price stayed here for at least maybe five days for four days the price stayed here okay then again it was rejected from this level as well so this is a strong area where the price is also you know the people are reacting to this level okay you see the people are reacting to this level so if we say if we call this level to be a magnet level you know, magnet what happens is the price reacts and after that it either bounces to downward or either bounces to upward right now after reacting to this level the price is going down for now let me give you example from the let me delete this level so you can have better idea we'll just focus on the red level you see when the price broke this level it came back tested and move up it moved way above making the high high okay after second time the at this area see the at this area by its price wicked three times four times five times so you can, you can say that this is a strong area where the price reacted even this area you can see these two wigs just right on the money right on the spot then after you see here when the price rejected it moved up and without breaking it went down straight here and it stayed there for few days then again it moved up we tested the lower of the swing high then again reacted here and moved down so all in all this is a pretty you know you have to focus very hard on these volume profiles uh, in order to get a good uh, analysis of the price for now i say that this area which is right at here 69.70 is a point where we can see a retest might be a good retest uh, if the volume increases at this point of support we can see a, a downward movement and that downward movement might re react to this level or this region if we can call it 55 to 50 region so that could that region can be tested in the future so and if we go above we might have to retest this level of uh, 99177 with not that volume so the volume needs to break needs to increase in order to break this level so this is a bit uh, tricky situation right now uh, we are in the consolidation downward movement and we need some good accumulation zone you know we need some accumulations for some time in order to break that level in on either side the volume is very important so that's for today guys I hope you have got the summary you have got the analysis if it did, if it helped you in any way then please like this video take care bye